He's got a lot of work to do if he's going to get shaped for the red three coming up. That is what he was afraid of. Clanging into the eight. He's got a ghost of a chance here at the three. A defensive shot. He's going for the bank and he's got it! <laughs> Looks like Efren can smell victory. They're making money, that's why. <laughs> this is the 2006 Asian Bull Championship. Efren versus Li Hiwen of China. Didn't want the kiss on the eight, and his safety is really starting to let him down. Lee Hee Wen failed to play a safety shot. Now Efren will have to shoot the two, but position on the three ball would be very difficult. The red three coming up. That is what he was afraid of. Clanging into the eight. Because of the eight ball, Efren will have a tough shot on the three, but he could still cut this in or play a defensive shot. But the legendary Filipino magician has another plan. He's going for the bank and he's got it! <laughs> Looks like Efren can smell victory and he doesn't want to be bothered. Defense now. Efren did not want to waste time for safety exchanges, so he went for the offensive side and banks the three ball into the long corner pocket while maintaining good position on the four ball next. Efren then proceeded to run the remaining balls. And Chuck Schreiner, could this be the beginning of the end? Efren now just two racks away. 9 5 with alternating breaks. Thank you. We move now to the Asian Pool Championship 2016. The Taiwanese two times world champion Ko Pinyi unexpectedly missed a supposedly routine shot on the three ball. He tried for a two rail position play for the four ball next, but undercut the three ball and horribly missed into the corner pocket. Now the magician steps in with an open shot on the three ball. Efren slightly got out of position for the 5 ball here. The cue ball went too close on the rail, so his options are limited to get to the 6 ball next. But let's watch what the magician does. Efren went for a force follow shot to spin the cue ball closer to the six ball. And this is what he does next. <laughs> Efren went for the money again and takes the bank on the six ball. He also introduced some inside spin on the cue ball to get to the seven ball next. Let's go back to another Asian Pool Championship 2006. Efren Reyes versus Pan Shouting of China. This is the first track of the game, Efren to break. Though that wasn't the best of legs that he and his opponent had, but nonetheless. Efren impressively made three balls on the break, but the two ball sits near the rail. And clearly, it does not go to the side pocket. So the magician did this. The seven. How did she start to play well? Her father owned a billiard club. 
And uh, that's how she got involved with the sport. Look at that shot yeah. there from Efren. <laughs> Showing his stuff early on here. Oh my wow! The magician is truly unpredictable. He went for the unforeseen bank on the two ball into the corner pocket and landed perfect position on the four ball next. And Efren Reyes ultimately won this match against the Queen of Nine Ball 7 to 5. We proceed to another great match here the Japan Open Championship 2005. Efren Reyes versus Rodolfo Luat, who is also a former World Nine Ball Champion. Rodolfo Luat attempts a safety play on the two ball here. And this is what the magician does next. Surprise! Me. Easy here, dog. A friend did not waste any time for a safety exchanges, and went directly to the gold. And he then proceeded to run this rack. And here is a bonus kick safety shot just for you. This is the International Challenge of Champions 2002. Mika Imunen attempts a safety shot here on the three ball. A friend can do a counter save here, but let's watch what the magician does. The magician directly went for the long bank on the three ball and landed perfect on the five ball next. A friend took the big risk and gets the big reward of stealing this rock away from Mika Imunen. Just wondering, let's see if he calls it. The crowd's gonna start yelling. There he goes. And there was no doubt about that one. And this is what we've been waiting for. All right. Efren Reyes ultimately won this match in a thriller sudden death tiebreaker rack. Let's go now to this amazing match. Efren Reyes versus Tobias Hoys of Germany. A friend underhit the shot on the 4 ball and fell short on the 5 next. He could not pocket the 5 in the near corner pocket because the 6 ball is in the way. So a friend did the unthinkable. Efren went for the long bank and gets a shot on the six in the side pocket. He then proceeded to run this rack. We move now to this incredible challenge match, a friend versus Earl Strickland from the US. Watch the shot on the three ball. 
Hindi naman ano yan, hindi naman regalo. <laughs> oh, hindi regalo yan. Eh. You, you work for it. Nako. Yun lang. Exactly yata. Hindi ba ba? A friend slightly overheat the shot and landed a terrible on the 4 next. He could not pocket the 4 into the corner pocket because the 8 ball is partially blocking it. If you are in this position, what would you do? But before you answer, let's watch what the magician does. Even the three-time world champion Earl Strickland could not help but to give an applause for the magician. A very good effort with a cross-corner bank on the four ball and was able to land perfect on the five ball next. Well, that's only this rap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> this rack of 8 ball will answer why Efren Reyes is a four time world 8 ball champion. This is the Asian Culture Day 2018. Efren Reyes playing for challenge matches with the local players in this area. <laughs> There's Efren chose to play stripes in this specific rack. All stripe balls are in the open. Efren Reyes won the biggest pot money of his whole career when he won the IPT King of the Hill Challenge against Mike Siegel, winning 500,000 US dollars in 2006. Efren ran over the 8 ball and apparently will have no direct shot, so instead, he still points to the corner pocket where the 5 ball is blocking the path and surprisingly, something really mind-blowing happened here. What an incredible double bank on the 8 ball from the legend. A shot that caught everyone off guard. Fully intentional and perfectly executed. Like this video for the second part of this episode. So much more amazing shots of Efren Reyes we would like to share to you. So please subscribe so you won't miss a single shot. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. God bless.